I'm Vincent Price. What unearthly horror did that girl gaze upon? What manner of incredible thing walked beneath that hood? It would be unfair at this time to show you any more of what went on in that laboratory where a man actually dared to play God. Not since the beginning of time has man known such terror. What's going on guys, on this episode of On The Set, I'm checking out Astro Zombies, a tale of creepy man-made monsters. So let's get into it. This one starts off with a chick driving home. Once she gets into her garage, something is waiting for her in the shadows. The creature ends up bashing her head in with a claw hammer. It's pretty brutal. The opening credits then show a bunch of what look like Rock'em Sock'em robots beating the hell out of each other. It's pretty weird. We then stumble upon the scene of a bad car accident, and out of nowhere, this guy slinks over and steals the body of the accident victim. This apparently has been going on for months, and the CIA is aware of it. A scientist named Dr. Petrovich goes to meet with a CIA agent about the murder investigation. He tells the doctor and his assistant that they're both suspects due to their line of work, and then reveals that Petrovich's assistant is actually a CIA agent who was spying on him basically because Petrovich has been working on organ replacement and thought wave transmission. He then gives the agents and a detective a demonstration of the thought wave transmission using a human brain. Later on, at a restaurant, some shady guy is getting paid for a job that he did for two others, demanding that they pay him more money for whatever it was that he did for them. It's a pretty awkward scene. The one guy that they're paying starts staring the other two down real seductively, and then yeah, it's reciprocated. It's weird, like, what's going on here? Are they going to have a three-way or something? Meanwhile, some guy outside, who I guess is the driver, is getting his ass kicked. We then see a scientist who's been stealing the dead bodies and experimenting on them. He's trying to make some sort of obedient superhuman. After that, one of Dr. Petrovich's assistants is working late in their lab when she's attacked by another one of the creatures. Then, from there, we jump to a scene inside of what I think is that same restaurant from before, with a chick dancing around wearing only body paint. It's very random. Two of the guys from earlier, the CIA agent and detective, are hanging out watching her dance. Then, some guy calls the chick from the restaurant, whose name is Satana, telling her that the agents are there. So from what it looks like, Satana and the others are part of some kind of rival criminal agency or something. They end up capturing this guy who's been lurking outside their hideout, and Satana burns his face with a cigarette. What a bitch. All of a sudden, she shoots him with a gun that doesn't even have a silencer on it, but it sounds literally like a silenced pistol from Goldeneye. You know, pew pew pew! And let me just say, what the hell does this movie even have to do with space or zombies? Back in the lab, the scientist's Igor-looking assistant has Petrovich's assistant strapped to a table. As that's going on, the CIA guys are asking Petrovich about a possible suspect, the scientist we saw earlier, Dr. DeMarco. He used to work with Petrovich, but was fired for doing some shady experiments. Then, Satana's henchman turns on her and says another agency is actually paying him more. But yep, there's still no mention of zombies or space. Then, out of nowhere, she judo kicks the gun out of his hand and turns the tables. Satana confronts DeMarco, saying she knows about his astro zombies. Oh wow, they actually said the name. Then, as they're messing with one of the creatures, the detective shows up and they have a big shootout. One of the creatures makes it outside and starts literally killing everybody. Then, DeMarco has a change of heart and tries to shut them down, but he gets shot by Satana instead. And just when she thinks she's won, she gets attacked by a creature as well and gets electrocuted. The end. So, that movie was good. Um, no, not, not really. What did it have to do with Astro Zombies? I mean, I guess they were kind of zombies in a manner of speaking. 
but they weren't from space or anything, so I don't know. Honestly, the best part of the movie was the body paint chick and then Satana. Anyway, guys, join me on the next episode for more Horror Fest fun.